All right, we're going to take a look at Blackberry Blossom, the melodic version. Going to break it down measure by measure. Here's measure number one for you. Measure number two. Measure number three. Measure number four. This is the first measure in the second line. Measure number two in the second line is going to be just the same as the first measure of the tune. And the same goes for measure number three, the last measure on the second line. It's going to be the same as the second measure on the first line. That moves us down to the third line, and this measure again is going to be a repeat from earlier in the tune. And then we get a new idea here to end the A part, the last measure of the A part. inside drop thumbing there and then just ending on a nice boom chicka stroke on the G chord. That does it for the A part. Let's take a look at the B part. This is going to change keys here to the relative key of E minor and in our arrangement here we're going to try to capture a lot of the melody the way I know the the tune um, and also kind of keep a bit of a chordal feel here. So we're going to be holding the E minor chord down for a good portion of this this part of the tune. Uh, I'll start with measure one, or the first measure of the B part, so the first measure of the fourth line. Mm -hmm. 
Do that for you one more time. And that'll take us to the second measure of this line. And we're going to have a little variation. So we start out the same as the previous measure. Let me just end up with a pull off there on the second fret third string. Um, then that takes us to the third measure of this line. We're still playing out of that E minor chord shape. And this time, again, it starts out the same. Same three quarters of the previous measures. And then we have a change. A hammer on from the second to the fourth fret on the first string. And that gets us ready to go up the neck for the next part of the melody. So let me give you that measure again. Alright, that'll take us to the next line. This is the fifth line of the tab, first measure. And here we're jumping up the neck. Now we just ended up here doing a hammer on from the second to the fourth fret on the first string. So now what I recommend you do is slide your first finger up to start this measure here. Uh, first finger up to the fifth fret. And then it's kind of up to you from here whether you want to use. You're going to need to use your pinky on the 9th fret. Um, it's up to you whether you prefer to use your 2nd your finger or your 3rd finger to get this, these 7th fret notes. Um, I kind of like, since I just hammered on from the 2nd to the 4th fret using my 1st and 3rd fingers right before I shifted, I kind of like to keep those fingers in action, so I do. I use my 3rd finger to take care of those seventh fret notes, usually. Whatever you do, whatever decision you make here, make sure that you stick with it and that you're consistent with your fingering choices. That'll that'll cut down a lot of confusion and, and sloppiness in your playing later. All right, enough talk there. Let me go ahead and play the measure for you. One more time. Well, that's going to take us back to some repeat ideas. We've got a repeat of the first measure of this part. And the repeat ideas keep continuing here. So now I'm on the final measure of the uh, fifth line. takes us to the final line. The second to last measure is again a repeat idea from earlier in this part. And that takes us to the final measure, which is the same as the final ending measure in the A part. Two. Three, 